This is Moments with Foo with James Foo Torres, better known as Foo, the show that takes you around the world to share interviews with some of the most successful and relevant people on the planet, hear their stories, and get the most important business lessons they have learned on their road to success, and get exclusive advice on how to implement their success into your life and business. Moments with Foo is brought to you by the Strategic Advisor Board and your host, Foo. Hello and welcome to Moments with Foo. I'm your host, James Foo Torres, but you can call me Foo. Hence the name of the podcast. And today I have Yimi Yen. He's the TikTok acupuncturist and he's the CEO of Integrative Health. But I'm going to let him tell you more about that. But first, Yimi, how are you? I'm doing great, Foo. And I'm excited to be on your podcast. Um, you know, I, my name is Jimmy Yen. And just a little bit about me, I'm a licensed acupuncturist. I am known as the AKA TikTok acupuncturist because I have 1.1 million followers on TikTok and 1.1 million followers on Instagram. Uh, my clinic, Achieve Integrative Health, is in Austin, Texas. It is the largest acupuncture clinic in Austin, Texas. That is awesome. I mean, uh, alternative medicine is is booming right now. I've been recommended mm -hmm. to get acupuncture, like I told you on our call. And yeah. uh, I really want to do it. And I'm looking forward here to to dive in, into into very actionable uh, tips for people, because, you know, as, uh, yeah. as a business owner in my audience, you know, all business leaders, we like right now, like, you know, I have my my terror cane is, is over there. Like I'm always yeah. in, in pain <laughs> and stuff. So uh, on that note, um, let's uh, let's kick it off with a uh some you know some tips that you have for business owners like me that are always in the computer that what are things that we yeah. can do to alleviate our pain yeah yeah so if we're talking about pain um number one you should follow me on tiktok or instagram because i <laughs> offer a lot of biohacking tips specifically for pain right a lot of the biohacking tips are like uh what i call acupressure points that you can do, and it's within 10 seconds, you can immediately start decreasing whatever pain you're having. So like, you know, people like you, who you're in, uh, if you're, you know, you're, I don't know, if, I think you're standing, right? But a lot of right people Right now sit. I'm standing, but I right usually, I was okay. sitting and then I, okay. but I try, I try to change, right? Like, so I can. Yeah, good. Perfect. Perfect. Actually, what you just said is one tip that I would say, don't stay seated. Sitting position is the worst position for your whole spine. It will start from your lower back and will work its way up to your neck, right? So sitting is the worst position. So one trick, I would say, my wife is a CPA uh, accountant. So during January to June, she's, you know, she's working 60, 70 hours a week. And she will not, she will, it, she will sit in her chair for 12 hours straight and not get up. And so I was like, okay, I need to have some type of trick to make her get up. So what I told her to do is always to have a water bottle beside her. And I told her, you need to drink that water. I don't care if you're thirsty or not, drink it. And I want you to finish it. So guess what? When she finishes that, 30 minutes to an hour later, what does she need to do? She needs she to, go to go urinate, right? So that forces her to get up so that at least she walks, gets up, walks, and uh, you know she's not sitting all day. Another thing that I recommend especially in the morning, right? A lot of times now we, we are so afraid of the sun and we wear shades, right? To block, to prevent the UV rays to hitting our, our eyes. But actually in the morning, you actually want some sun into your eyes because if you, it, you know, entrepreneurs like you and me, you know, uh, when we're working and we're all hyped up, sometimes, you know, some of us have insomnia, right? Well, one of the causes of insomnia, I mean, there's many causes, but one of the solutions is you're not getting enough sun in your eyes. The sun going into your eyes actually stimulates, helps you produce melatonin, which is the sleep hormone that you need to help you sleep. So just by going out, you don't, it doesn't have to be that long. It doesn't have to be just like five, 10 minutes. Don't look directly in the sun. <laughs> okay. Don't, 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 don't be telling food hey jimmy told me to look at the sun now i'm blind okay <laughs> that's not what i'm saying <laughs> i'm saying just go look at the scenery okay don't stare at the sun but just look at the scenery without shades and just look at the scenery for five ten minutes and you're good to go and then you can go back in right so the, the, those are a couple of tips that can help with your sleep 
which will help with your energy, right? Because as entrepreneurs, we're go, go, go. Instead of going for coffee all the time and a caffeine fix, right? So I can work 14, 16 hours a day. I don't. I drink zero caffeine. I don't need caffeine because I take care of my health. So one of those things is making sure you get adequate amount of sleep. And you need to do things to help improve the quality of your sleep. It's not the time. The time is not so important as the quality of your sleep. You need that deep, restful sleep. And that deep, restful sleep stimulates something, especially in your brain. Because we, we wanted to talk about brain acuity, right? Entrepreneurs, we need to be able to think quickly, right? But if we are all foggy up here all the time, we can't think quickly. And we're not going to make good decisions. So one of the ways to have better brain acuity is to, be, is to get better quality sleep, right? So the quality of your sleep, because when you sleep, it actually uh, uh, act, activates this self-cleaning system called autophagy, which is basically just self-cleaning in the brain. So when we sleep, we have our, we have, you know, the street sweepers, you know, you ever see those street, street sweepers, like on the streets in New York, they sweep the yeah, sweep Yeah, the yeah, yeah, they're, they're like the circles, things like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, in the middle of the night, right, right? Yeah, we so, have them here too, so. Okay, so those are only activated when you get good quality sleep. And those are activated in your brain. So it's cleaning up your brain while you sleep. So if you don't activate those sweepers, then when you wake up, you're going to feel groggy. So is that REM, the REM sleep, is that right? Yes, is that correct? REM okay. sleep, yes, yes. Yeah, because that's, the, so, yeah, I've seen that, you know, I've been documentaries and stuff and like that, you know, you mm -hmm. see like the eyes like just moving and stuff, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So that that's for the brain. That's going to give you that mental acuity when you wake up in the morning. So when I wake up in the morning, I'm good to go. I don't need coffee. I don't need caffeine to stimulate me, right? So one thing that I, I do, one of my habits that I do is I drink uh, at least 16 ounces of water. First thing I do in the morning, right? There's a number of reasons why you want to do that. Because when you're sleeping, your body is self-cleaning, not just in your brain, but your whole body. So now it's cleaning. So it, it's cleaned up all the mess, all the, all the toxins. So the next step is what do you want to do? You want to get rid of it, right? So the best, easiest way, the most comfortable way is to urinate it out. So that's why you want to drink some water. Water to, to flush it out. Flush out all the toxins that your street sweepers cleaned up during the night. So uh, I want right. to uh, comment on this because um, yeah. so I have a friend of mine. So when I was in the military, a friend of mine is super into fitness and stuff. I mean, he even mm -hmm. went to like this combat thing or whatever. Like he was, he was my, and then we lived together. And uh, he would tell me like, look, first thing that you should do when you wake up is to drink water. He didn't tell it like to me like that, but yeah. he told me to me like, oh, just to like activate your system to like, just look, you're being mm -hmm. like asleep on that standby mode for all this time. So just to get everything going. And then, you know, if you want to lose weight or anything, you gotta, you gotta get your system. Like as soon as you wake up, like just gotta get it going. So that's kind of how they told me, right. It wasn't very scientific mm -hmm. or anything. It was just him as a fitness person, just drink water in the morning. And I'm like, yeah. I kind of got that in my brain and, and I do that. So I make it feel yeah. like I don't measure like 16. Well, Probably one couple of this is probably like 16 ounces. Yeah, so. that's about 16. So yeah. I think yeah. uh, I don't drink at all, like, like, go, 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 go. But, I, but I like drink as much as I can and then I put it there and, yeah. then, I, and then I go again, right? So, um, so definitely I, I do that. So I feel good. I feel good about that. I do get my sleep. Yeah. Uh, definitely, mm -hmm. uh, I that for me, it's the key is to go to bed early and mm -hmm. not use my phone, right? And just kind of decompress with my girl and just kind of uh, just decompress and just clear my mind right kind of like yeah. meditate off before going to bed and then just you know let it go so i'm doing that i, I wake up today i woke up at 2 a.m by accident it was just because i went to okay. bed too early uh but i okay. typically wake up between like around 4 a.m like so nice. that's just the way that i do it because i'm in pacific time so then i want to mm -hmm. like if i have clients i have clients in in the in the east side so like then yeah. things are moving so i want to start posting for myself for my clients so definitely i'm, I'm getting the sleep I'm getting, I'm getting the water. Uh, yeah. I, so I'm doing also like the water, like I drink water a lot and it's like kind of mm -hmm. annoying sometimes, but it gets me moving. Um, yeah. And so I'm doing that, uh, doing that a lot. So, so then the next, the thing is like, I'm still, still getting a lot of pain. Like, especially like it, it, it's, it's, I have like this big knot, like in between like my shoulder blade, like in, mm -hmm. in the, in the pocket. 
So yeah. I don't know if mm -hmm. you have any advice for that specific area, like that pocket yeah. there is the area that hurts the most. The rest, like I do yoga and stuff, so like I stretch. So, yeah. I, but it's that part, it doesn't matter how much I do, like physical therapy or anything. It's just, I don't know. I guess it's, I don't know what it is, but so do you have any advice for that? Yeah. So when it comes to, so my clinic treats a lot of pain, chronic pain specifically, right? And so if you want to fix the pain, you have to understand what's causing the pain in the first place. The underlying and condition first, right? Exactly. Exactly. And so there's many, there's, there's a couple of underlying conditions, right? There's first, I'll tell you about from like, let's say from a um, physical standpoint, uh, musculoskeletal standpoint, the reason why you have pain is because you are, your muscles are weak. Ah, uh, that's exactly right? what they told me. And it, that's true. And that's true. Cause I do like yeah. the physical therapy exercises and I can feel it. And then I wish I was more consistent to be honest. Like I do it and then I'm motivated <laughs> and I'll stop doing it. And it's like, man, I need to, I need to you're, get more. You're not hurting therapy. enough. You're not hurting enough. That's why you're not doing them. <laughs> well, when it hurts a lot, then I do it. And then it's then you do, I do it. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's one thing, right? Weakness. When you have muscles, so you have to understand the function of muscles. Muscles, yes, they, they help us move, move our bones and move our body, right? But another reason, uh, another function of muscles is to absorb stress, right? So when you're having that shoulder blade pain, it, it's actually not the muscles, it's the tendons and ligaments that are hurting. And That's true, when, because when the muscles, see, see if you look at, look, look at your, your, your shoulder, I mean, your arm, right? Your arm, you've got tendons and ligaments on your elbows and your shoulder, right? Right? They connect your muscle to your bone. How big are those tendons and ligaments? They're about this big. How big is this muscle right here? Your bicep. It's about this big. So right the now muscle is supposed right to. Now, so. <laughs> <laughs> I messed up, man. Yeah, because because your muscles, your biceps and your triceps are supposed to absorb the stress of daily life, but because they're so weak that stress goes to these small tendons, right? And that's what happens in your back. So the, 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 one, of the, one of the root causes is because of a weak muscle in your back. You're, you're forcing your tendons and ligaments to take on the stress when they are not built to take on stress. The muscles are supposed to be taking on your stress. So the solution, the final fix is to get that muscle. You need to find, identify which muscle is weak so I would go to the physical therapist and have them identify which muscle is weak and work on strengthening that muscle. And once you strengthen that muscle, your pain should go away. But let's say it doesn't. There's a second root cause. You have to look at what helps our body heal itself. Our bodies were built miraculously. It can self-heal, right? You cut yourself, you don't do anything, and that wound heals. So our body has that innate ability to heal. How does it do that? It's through our organ functions. Our organs help our bodies heal, right? Like we were talking about urination, kidneys help filter the blood. See, it's helping our body heal. It's doing all of this without us even paying attention to it. So then you got to think about if you strengthen the muscle and you still have pain, then it could be an organ dysfunction. So which organ is not doing its job to heal the pain? So when we look at tendons and ligaments, the, the number one organ is your liver. The liver controls the healing of your tendons and ligaments. So if your liver is not functioning at optimal levels, then your tendons and ligaments, then it's not going to do its job, you know, to heal your tendons and ligaments. So then you got to look at why isn't your liver doing its job? Never the heard liver, this before, so it's pretty yeah. good. So you got to figure out why, what's, What's, you know, what's cramping your liver style, right? It, it's not working. So something's doing it. And then I would start thinking, oh, are you doing a lot of sugar? Are you doing alcohol? Are you doing a lot of caffeine? Are you doing a lot of stimulants? Because those all hurt the liver. So then, okay. Um, look, my girlfriend, I don't, I don't drink uh, much mm -hmm. uh, tea. And, and it's just kind of like, the way that I use it the most is for, mm -hmm. for in between meals. So I don't get too hungry. Like it's, it's like a snack, to be honest, I use teas as mm -hmm. a snack. Yeah. Um, not yeah. necessarily yeah. like I need it because I, you know, I sleep good. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. 
So my girlfriend, on the other hand, she drinks coffee like crazy. And it's not because mm -hmm. of like, oh, I need to wake up. It's more like it's her comfort drink, right? Mm. Um, so she drinks it every time. They say, oh, you know what? I want comfort drink. So she drinks coffee multiple times a day. My grandparents mm. are like that. My mom is like that too. So like yeah. I have a lot of people like that. So then what you're saying is that if you drink a lot of coffee, especially, if, you mm -hmm. know, let's say two, three, even more, right? Yeah. Like two to three yeah. cups. Yeah. Uh, that is affecting your liver, which is affecting yes. your body's ability to heal. Is that correct? Yes, to heal your tendons and ligaments. Tendons and ligaments. Yeah, I make the note all that. Yes. Like never, never heard about that connection before. Mm -hmm. And yeah. this, because I mean, for me, okay, the liver kind of cleans the whole thing, right? It's like the filter, mm -hmm. or whatever. I get it, but I never yeah. heard about specific tendons and lig yes. ligaments. And can you tell me? You know, without getting too super scientific, but yeah, at least, yeah. you know, give me like a taste. I'm, I'm, I love science. So for uh -huh. me, like if you can give me like why, why the tendons, is it because of like general thing or is it because like, you know, just, just, just tell me. <laughs> yeah. So, so, you know, thousands of years ago, it, so what we learned in, like in our anatomy and physiology book in college, right. It does not list every single function of the organ. Just because it's in, not in that book does not mean that those our organs don't have other functions. We, you know, it doesn't matter how advanced technology is right now, we still don't know everything about the human body, right? So I, I'm saying that to preface about what I'm about to say. So thousands of years ago, they found out they were very thousand years ago they were very intelligent people, right? We have just been dumbed down by technology, and so uh, they did find out that every single organ has more functions, has a lot of functions. And they found out that the liver controls the healing of your tendons and ligaments. The kidneys and the adrenal glands control the, the healing of your bones, right? And so they, it's just like all these different things. And also the liver controls your eyesight. It affects your vision. They found connections, right? And how do they find this out? Trial and error. They improve the liver function. Oh, my eyesight getting better. They improve the liver function. Oh, my tennis and my tennis elbow, my golfer's elbow gets better. Right. So can can I say that there's just some exact scientific proof? I think technology is not advanced yet to to show that you know specifically, but you just improve your liver function. That will help your pain, your chronic pain. Yeah. So the liver does detox. And one of the biggest function it does is detox, right? Another food that you need to that you need to watch out is cholesterol. Not cholesterol, but fatty foods. Like bad fats, not good fats. I'm not talking about avocados, not talking about uh, uh coconut. You need good fats. I'm talking about, you know, processed fats, fast foods. I'm talking about fried foods. I'm talking about uh even sometimes butter right all of if you eat a lot of fats like unhealthy fats that damages your liver also and sugar sugar i'm not just talking about candy i'm talking about simple sugar simple sugar or simple carbs like white rice white bread white potato white noodle these are all sugar they're sugar they turn into sugar fast right so are you eating a lot of those things because if you are, that's damaging your liver, right? Everything. And so one liver, thing that you'll, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love noodles. So one thing man. we've noticed, I love noodles. I love rice. You know, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you're I like hear you. I hear you. It's, it's, I hear you. It's, it hurts like because I don't want to let that. Go. Like <laughs> I, I eliminate fats, processed, um, and, uh -huh. and uh, fast food a lot. I haven't been on a fast food. I don't even know when. Like when's the last time? Especially because what I did to get around this, and and let me know if this is right, because I kind of being abusing yeah. people. Um, so I've been I've been uh, doing uh, I I buy frozen like uh, uh, potatoes, like just just the crinkle cut um, fries, mm -hmm. and then I get uh, the uh, impossible meat nuggies, uh, like chicken nuggies are impossible, right? Like they're not even real because I like them better okay. than the actual real ones. Uh, okay. I don't know the, the taste to me. And then I do like um, I something that I really liked that it was hard for me was the oh fries and uh, and and then the sauce of like ghost pepper ranch that, that uh, 
Wendy's hat. So it was very hard for me to like let that go. But then I just <laughs> bought like ranch and then I bought like a ghost pepper thing that I found on Wico. And now like I mix it and I just have it at home. So then I did that recipe and that gets my 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 itch for, for yeah, fast yeah. food. So I just yeah. eat that, you know, like, I don't know, once, maybe twice a week, depending on like, how, like I want something fast. That's like my go-to. I try to avoid it and just save it for emergencies, right? Um, yeah. So that's what I'm doing to avoid doing that. And then I do air fryer, right? Like I don't fry mm-hmm. them. So I do air yeah. fryer. I do those uh, impossible. I don't know how good or bad. I, I just know that I, they cannot be worse than, than fast food. And then also like, you know, I get vitamins, I get all the ways to get my, my, so the nutritious part is not what I'm looking for or to be skinny yeah. or anything. It's more of like yeah something that will not be bad. So then I can outwork yeah. it. Right. And stuff. So do you think that's a, that's a, that's a good alternative to, to let's say um, fast food, right? If you want fries, you want um, nuggies and stuff. Yeah. I, I think, you know, here's a, uh, here's some suggestions. If you like fries, uh, I know it's not the same, okay? But you want to stick with sweet potato fries. I like it. My sweet- girlfriend doesn't. Oh, okay. So why, why sweet potato fries? Is it because it's not white? Sweet. Yes. So we sweet potato fa- sweet potatoes um, are more of a complex carb. White potato is a simple carb. What does that mean? How fast does it break into sugar? So white stuff breaks into sugar quickly. So it's just like sugar. Sweet potato, it takes time to break down to sugar, right? So you want these things that are, you want to eat foods that break down to sugar slower. Because the, the, one, the ones that break down to sugar fast, it spikes your sugar in your bloodstream. And that causes a cascade of reactions that involves other organs like your adrenal glands that try to compensate for that so instant what's the surge glands, again because you mentioned it early and i was kind of like i'm not sure what yeah. that means yeah yeah so adrenal glands are these organs that sit on top of your kidneys they secrete a hormone that everybody has heard of adrenaline right that's secreted by your adrenal glands it's so you can say it's a it's commonly known as the stress organ it helps you adapt to all types of stress in your life. So the so adrenal it, glands are this this stress organ? Stress organs, yes. Mm, interesting. Never you see, that's why I love this podcast, man, because I learned so much. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> you know, thank thanks, you for thanks this. Thanks for doing because, this. Yeah, no, thank no, you for doing this. Because I, I'm pretty sure, you know, whoever sees this, they're gonna like this is not commonly known. I mean, that's why you're so famous, mm-hmm. right? Because it just you're literally <laughs> educating on something that like most people are not putting out. I don't know if you saw like the sun, I guess it came out and like Yeah, like, yeah, it's getting right. brighter. <laughs> that was funny. Like I just felt it like just anyway. But um It was God yeah. speaking to you. <laughs> yeah, just like you're doing you're you're in the right path. <laughs> Man, this is this is good. Like I'm, I'm very, I'm getting very, like I'm making the most out of this time, right? Because uh, yeah, the idea of this moments with food, right, is like for me, I, I am like the representative of the audience, right? And I'm like, what would mm-hmm. the audience ask? And just because I think I'm a very curious person, I want to learn. I want to, I want to feel as good as I can. And that's why, like, absolutely, I, you know, we bonded really right away when yeah. we, we had on a call. I was like, oh man, like, I love alternative medicine. You know, I go to chiropractor, I go to physical therapy. Like, that's my thing. I I rather go to that, and I haven't gone to acupuncture, yes. but I really want to. I'd rather go to that yeah. than the doctor. Like, I yeah. just want to like eat well and then find ways. Like the thing that I I I managed to eat decent. I mean, I feel good. Like I look mm-hmm. good. It's just, it's just the, the pain stinks. And it's because I'm not like, I, I haven't gone to a gym in like mm. two years and a half now. Um, mm. I do do like, you know, the, the, in the, like calisthenics or like yoga yeah. mostly that's the main thing that I do. And then I, mm-hmm. I mix it with like the stretch bands that for mm-hmm. the physical therapy exercises. Yep. And then like some stuff of like, just with my own weight, like I'm doing W, W, Y, Y, W, T, L's, Y, W, T, L's. I don't know if you heard okay. about those. No, I've never heard of that. Yeah, it's, it's like why 
and then w- MCA. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said the first thing, but the first time. So doing those are good for like yeah. my my the problem that I told you, right? Like in yes. my pocket. So, yes, yes. But I just gotta be more consistent to be honest. Like I know I'm weak there and then I work it and then I stop working, and it's just like that mm-hmm. inconsistency is what's really killing mm-hmm. me. But and like yep. and now I, I learned something about like the damn the food, like so I'm gonna see. I'm gonna talk to. I'm gonna get my girl to listen to this. I'm gonna be like, you gotta <laughs> listen to this because you're like, because she's always feeling like not always right, but a lot of times she's like, oh, I feel bad or whatever. And I'm like, look, you you must be doing something wrong. And then yes. she starts to justify it and stuff. It's like, no, come on, yeah. like just like just accept it at least that you're 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 doing yeah. it right. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. definitely gonna kind of. And you're you're, you're her on this. I don't know how old you are, but you're too young to be in chronic pain. I know. I mean, I'm 29. I mean, I'll be 30, but I mean, you're, you're too young. young. That's um, too young to be. And yeah. I actually, you know, I, I care. And it's not like, oh, like, you know, like I don't, I, I care about looking good, feeling good, mm-hmm. especially since I became a, a, an entrepreneur, right? A business owner. Yeah. I need to be as sharp as possible, not only mentally, absolutely, but physically, because I yep. have to, you know, I work like crazy. I have to be. Yep able to 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 be there all the time right uh, yeah. so yes. that's, that's very important so that's why this is super important for business leaders yeah. that's why this was a, such a good exactly. fit for this so man this awesome. is this is great so is there any like big takeaways uh, that you want to lead the audience with I, I i would say one takeaway is and i'll say it slowly because it might sound confusing your psychology affects your physiology your psychology affects your physiology and vice versa your physiology affects your psychology so what does that mean mentally you know being healthy is not just about physically being healthy you got to be mentally healthy because the way and that's just about how do you be mentally healthy is the way you think the way you think about things are you always positive or are you always negative because if you think positive, your brain is going to secrete certain chemicals and neurotransmitters throughout your whole body. And it's going to create a positive effect physically. If you think negatively, your brain is also going to secrete chemicals. And it's going to secrete, you can say, negative chemicals. And that's going to create a negative effect on your body. So you have to, you know, everybody talks about the mind, body, and spirit. That is absolutely true. So how you think will affect you physically. But on the same, on the on the flip side, if you feel good and you're strong, that's going to encourage your brain to think positively. But if you're always in pain, you're always tired, right? That's going to affect your, your mental negatively. So that's why I leave with you, you know, your psychology will affect your physiology and vice versa. So you got to work on both. Yeah, definitely. Uh, there's like sometimes, you know, I, I just think about like all the things that you know we we need to be doing, right? And I mm-hmm. I want to change the the verbiage, right? I don't want to say like have or need, right? Like I, we get to do them, right? That's something that I I was yeah. gonna call earlier, like we get we get to do these things. We have yeah. the chance to do these things, so then we can be healthy and we can live for a long time, feeling good yeah. mentally and yeah. physically. So that I, yeah. that's you know me here learning with my bear bitch and uh, be, because if yeah. you put like, oh, you should be doing this and you should be doing this, it's just kind of like shame on that kind of, right? So mm. if you if you have yeah. that and that kind of comes back, you know, comes back to like, you know, speak that that you desire and, and to get, mm-hmm. you know, manifest the things that you want and to really be like just strong mentally. Um, yeah. so, so that that's something that, that I just want to say, like this is part of my journey that I've been learning. Yeah, and, and, uh, that's awesome. You know, so that that thank and thank you for, for for that like you you yeah man you give us a lot of value I made a lot of notes I got a lot of conversations to have with my girl now <laughs> <laughs> but man uh thank you you know just thank you for, thank for you. taking the time yeah uh, I I look forward to following your content um I'll I'll, sh- I'll be sharing and everything and practicing because that is my biggest thing right uh, I right now one of my biggest goals for this year is to is to just be be more disciplined and more structured with time mm-hmm. blocking and non-negotiables yes. that I just do all the time. Because every time that I yeah. do yoga, I'm like, uh-huh. damn, like I should do it every day. 
And then I do yes. like my physical therapy exercise and it's the same thing. It's like, oh, it feels so good. Like it hurts, but it's yeah. good and blah, blah. And then I don't do it just because, oh, I procrastinate, right? It's like, oh, I'm going to do this. Yeah. And then, oh, I'm hungry now. So I've got to eat. Oh, now i got to wait until the food sets. But then meanwhile, I'm working and then I get hungry again. And then it's like, oh, I'm tired yeah. now, right? So, yeah. Like I keep doing that. So that's why I got to do everything. I'm, I work up really early because I want to yeah, do it. I'm heavy, like my exercises, uh the my physical therapy like the the posting like the no negotiables yeah. i want to get them done in the morning so then the rest yeah. of the days there's no pressure it's like yeah. i already did my my daily rewards my day I, you know i did my thing right my yeah. dailies now yeah. like i can just like you know work and just enjoy life so that's, that's exactly my day. <laughs> beautiful beautiful oh my god this is a great conversation so i'm gonna make sure that you know if we got the links here in the description, but just so people that are might be listening, mm -hmm. you know, passive listening, how can people find you? You can find me all over social media, and my handle is at Achieve Integrative Health. At Achieve Integrative Health. You find me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Those are my biggest channels. Perfect. Yeah, nice. That's one of my biggest ones too. Perfect. So, um, yeah, just make sure that like you you probably already sent it to me, right? Like you submitted the form if you mm -hmm. right. So yeah. perfect. Yes. It's just that goes to my admin. So as long as he has them, right? We go. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna get that in here. Um, I mean, clearly over a million people following in 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 one platform and like in like TikTok and then over a million also on Instagram. This guy must be doing something right. And I obviously <laughs> you know you listen to this so. I know I'm sure that, that yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna drive some people to you uh and I'm I'm excited to to go deeper into this journey to do my first acupuncture uh session. Yeah. I'm yes. looking forward to that. Yes. So I'm excited because, for you. So one last thing uh, before like wrapping up. So yeah, it's it, it's when you do the acupuncture, um yes. is that mainly to like release the the like the tension? Uh like it obviously, obviously that there's a bunch of benefits, but do you mm -hmm. think like for for example like I, I'm weak right? You it's it's clear like yeah. it's not yeah I am weak but even though I'm weak and I'm gonna be working mm -hmm. on it is it still yeah. good to then do acupuncture and those it, does it combine the exercise with the acupuncture? Absolutely. So I like to explain. Uh, this is how acupuncture works. Acupuncture does two things. Number one, it moves your blood. Okay. So when you get acupuncture, they're gonna move the blood to that dysfunctioning area. You're going to move the blood to the place where it's inflamed, where the nerve is inflamed. The reason why you feel pain is because the nerve is inflamed. So to oh, decrease no it, you want to decrease. I, you want, <laughs> <laughs> I know you can. So, so acupuncture can move blood there to decrease inflammation off that nerve. That's the first thing it does. It moves your blood. The second thing, and this is the beauty of acupuncture, it has the ability to retrain your brain to do it by itself. Oh, that's that's exactly so. So and uh, so moves your brain and has the ability to retrain your brain. So retrain so your that, brain. Those those the way that you like kind of pinch or, or you know hit that it, it's it's hitting nerves that obviously are directly connected, right? Because all our nerves are connected. Yes, here. So Correct. then. You ba you basically are kind of communicating, right, with with, with your CPU. So when we put a needle, we're telling your brain, "Hey, brain, you need to be healing this. Why aren't you healing it?" That's what oh, the message. So you're just pointing it out it. almost, right? Exactly. Like just, yes. the, 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 yeah. Yeah. I, I needed to get this before because we talk about <laughs> all this general stuff, like you can, mm -hmm. but I just wanted to get there because. Yeah, now I yeah. get more motivated to go. Right? Yeah, you should. I believe to retrain so you train your brain to heal itself, right? Your brain. Let me know if you need help finding one, uh, or if you already have one. Oh, there, there. Yeah. So when I go to the to the chiropractor, mm -hmm. um, she is very like Asian. She's not Asian, but she's she she's she the massage therapist of the chiro okay. chiropractor. Yeah, she yeah. is very trained in all this like Asian Perfect. techniques, so she Perfect. is very connected on that way. So I have the plug. awesome, I awesome. got the Great. Plug, uh, ability to retrain your brain. Perfect. So then, and then if okay, that's the last thing. Yeah. If people, so if people want to find their local stuff, like reach out to you or your website, or like, what do you think is the best way to if they want to find like their local trusted acupuncturist? 
Yeah, so um, I've actually created a site. It's called acupuncturenearme.org. Acupuncturenearme.org. Yeah, we're working on getting more acupuncturists on that site, but all the acupuncturists on that on that site have been verified by me. That is That's awesome, man. You're such an authority. Like, I love this, dude. You're doing the right things. I mean, we talk about that. I was like, dude, you're doing the right things. That, that's amazing. Man. Appreciate you, you are that. very good at marketing. Uh, you're, you know, clearly very knowledgeable. Man, you're, you're a star. And I'm, I'm, you know, honored to have you in my podcast. Thank you. Thank you. I'm honored to be on your podcast. This is this is great, man. I made a note of this. Uh, and then, you know, that, let's wrap it up. Like, we've been here for long enough for give yeah. the audience, like, I have time to to kind of digest this. Yeah, um, yeah. So, so this was Jimmy Yen and Fu, and this is us signing off. Thanks for listening to Moments with Fu with your host, Fu. Please leave your feedback and visit strategicadvisorboard.com to get the latest and greatest business advisement on the planet. Follow us on social media for updates, and we will see you on the next episode.